the beginning, I felt hunted by something. Something I couldn't see. But I knew it was there. I could feel it coming. And something drew me to it. For so long, I... I didn't know how I couldn't see it. How I could be so blind. How I could do this to myself. But... I knew that one day... I would make the same choice. Atmospheric composition, nitrogen, oxygen. 96% Earth's gravity. 36 hour day, 34 hour sunlight. Plant life indicates the presence of water. We should begin heading for the ship. What happened? As near as I can tell, we passed through a gravitational anomaly. Then we split from the main engine module of the ship and crashed here. The distress signal we picked up is being emitted by a homing beacon three days that way. How far to the ship? Four days, in almost the opposite direction. We need to find water, sir. Our emergency supplies were only intended to last for a few days. We can't waste time trying to find someone who may or may not be alive. You may not survive. I understand what you're saying, but if the beacon's closer, we're going there. something. Hello! Sir, I can't figure out why you're so anxious to arrive at this homing beacon. In the immensity of time and space, it is unlikely that this beacon has been broadcasting for a period within the time frame of a human lifespan. Your willingness to expend your resources and risk your life on an unknown planet for the unlikely discovery of a living being seems irrational. If there's a chance someone's out there, we have to try. They could have supplies, they could need our help, they could have parts that we'll need. Besides, it's just a little detour. Your rations won't last forever, sir. At the rate we're traveling, you'll have consumed all remaining calories in one day. How far to the beacon? Two days. Where's my knife? I just had it. You must have moved it and forgot. I didn't move it. Scan the area for other life forms. I read no other life forms in the area other than you. Are you sure you didn't move it? Affirmative. Should I not have done that? Do you want to be shut down? Put yourself back into sleep mode. I'd advise you to get some sleep as well, sir. It's easier said than done. It's only two hours of night. Twenty kilometers to the beacon. Sir, I was told pilots choose their androids' appearance. Who is mine based on? My brother. Milo, where did I put my...
You said there's no one else in the area. These are human footprints. Those are your footprints. Then you're leading us in circles. Scan the area. Sir. Scan it! I read no other life forms than you in this area. That's impossible. I assure you, my scanners are functioning normally. My photos are missing. Did you take them? No, sir. If there's no one else here, then who took them? You must have misplaced them, sir. I would advise against going back to look for them. It would waste too many resources. Milo, I wouldn't have misplaced those. Mistakes are human, sir. Then explain the mistakes that you're making with your scans. My scans are accurate. Then either someone else is here or you're malfunctioning. Self-diagnostic. All systems functioning normally. Why are you lying to me? Sir, I cannot lie to you. I have scanned no foreign life forms and I did not take your photographs. Then who did? I believe you're being irrational, sir. Your blood pressure is elevated. Perhaps the lack Damn of- Damn right it's elevated! Remaining calm is one of the first elements of survival protocol. Why did you take them? If we are being surveilled as you maintain, wouldn't the prudent thing be to keep your voice down? Did you take the knife too? Why are you leading us in circles? I did not and I am not. Initiate shutdown. Sir, I believe there is- 1321 Alpha 4 Centauri! I woke up in this cave. Just as you have, nothing made sense. He told me, just as I'm telling you, that in spite of everything, one day I'd understand. He left me behind, just as I will leave you. How is this possible? That gravitational anomaly that brought our ship down was a temporal tear in space-time. Thanks for bringing these to me. You'll steal one back eventually. I never knew I could forgive him until I looked into your eyes. That's how I know that one day you'll forgive me when you live this moment from my perspective. Make sure you bury Milo out back with the others or he'll start to pile up. You know he never lied to us. You haven't checked the ship's wreckage yet, but Milo's power supply is the key to you getting off the planet. Once you repair the rest of the engine module, you can leave. It'll take a while, but you'll have plenty of time to figure this all out. You have a choice. You don't have to do this. We can take the ship together. The engine module only has room for one. Stop. This will happen as it has always happened. I know how you're feeling. When you see him, you'll feel like me. If you knew this was going to happen all along, why don't you just take Milo's power supply when we crashed? I forgot the code. And what it was like to have a friend. Don't go. I wouldn't leave! Don't go! Come back! Don't go! Don't leave me! No!